Hey folks, JP here. It's Thursday, July, I think 21st. 22nd. I always get that wrong. Anyway, uh, what time? We're about 11 a.m., okay? We in Slidell, Louisiana. We have bees in a uh, soffit area. Well, they're partly in the soffit, partly in the attic, okay? Uh, you can see the about 50% uh, of the hive from the attic space. And so the combs are attached to the roof sheeting, okay? Uh, but where it, the roof narrows down, it's impossible to get all that out from the from the attic space. So we're going in from the outside. I got my friend George here. He's helping me with this thing. You saw George last time. He was holding up the umbrella, okay? He may need it today too because it's quite warm out. By the way, ladies, he's single. <coughs> anyway, uh, and young. I just want to give you all a close up and show you how the weather bees are getting in. Okay, we have a two-story house, brick below, we have board and batting uh, above this, okay. We're also going to do some bee proofing on this house, this whole entire side, in fact, okay. To seal it off so bee, other bees can't get back in. I got Carlos down there and he's working his magic. And uh, I'm getting ready to get in there and start moving combs once uh, George opens this thing up, so. Just to give you another little glimpse. Uh, let's see, a little close up. Looks like a guard bee right there. See her? She's just ready to do her job. There we go, a couple of them coming out. All right. All right, folks, we got this soffit open. As you can see, we got some butamous combs here. Big, full sections. Okay. Probably have to even trim them. They, they, uh, they're larger than the deep from top to bottom. One of the obstacles is Romex, as you can see, and you're going to have, let's see, uh, I don't know how many sections, but probably at least five sections that they built right around that Romex, so that'll be a little bit interesting. So, anyway, we're about to go to lunch at a place called Bad to the Bone Barbecue, and then we'll be back to get into this thing. came back from bad to the bone barbecue where bad had never tasted so good. We, we stuffed. So all I know is we got a big old hive here and we got a shady tree right here. I don't know who's gonna win but we're gonna do our best and we're about to get right into it. We don't need an umbrella with this tree. See folks, the bees observe proper bee space, even in the wild. See how they do that? They just go between each section and do what they need to do. Just put it, put it right here, Carlos. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. 
You can see, folks, these bees have been very busy. And uh, there's a lot of Chinese tallow trees. Okay, not too far from where this hive is right now. You can't see them there in the background, but I would attribute a lot of this progress to those Chinese tallow. So it's 2.30, folks. First part was accessing this thing, and then after that we went to the bed, to the bone barbecue, and filled up. And uh, we're making progress, okay? We've got quite a few, few of these out. can't see Carlos, but he's helping me. We've got a huge container and I'm pulling honeycomb. All right, folks, we got a good bit of the honeycombs pulled, and uh, we got we're down to uh, some brood comb section that I'm about to cut and uh, transfer to some frames. Just wanted to show you all the progress we're making. The bees have gotten a little bit agitated. They started off real gentle, but you never know sometimes. And uh, these are definitely, uh, eh, if I didn't have my veil on right now, they'd, I'd probably be taking a few to the face, so the veil is on. Okay, we got a uh, little bit of honeycomb left. There's a little bit of brood left. And there's this new section over here. I'm kind of thinking that... Just took this thing on the hand. There, they're getting a little pissy. Alright, really trying to get that hand. Alright, I'm going to try this again, folks. Like I said, they're a little pissy. They, I just got a sting on the hand. We've pulled out quite a bit of comb, okay? And I'm going to show you what, what honey we pulled out. I'll go ahead and check this out. Let's see. I'd say we got a good uh, maybe two and a half gallons, but three gallons of honeycomb there. And uh, some good tasting honey too. And that's just the stuff that's in this tub. I also have a bag over here full of comb as well, but this stuff was a little dirty. Might have had a little bit of you know larva in it, a little brood or whatever. That bag right here probably weighs, let's see. Oh boy, that's got to weigh about 70 pounds, I'd say. So, between that and this right here, I said we pulled out, uh, oh god, maybe about 120, 130 pounds of honey so far. Alright, folks, this was not an easy removal by any means. And, uh, but here's our queen. I just ran her out of the attic with some beef wick. So, and there she is. So I'm about to put her in the catch box. We have uh, let's see, one, two, five frames of brood, and uh, they're generally pretty good bees. They got a little bit pissy here and there, but for the most part, uh, just wrapping it up. So it's been a long day. Another video brought to you by JP, the Bee Man. Y'all have a good one.